Okay, um, still in the data link layer, still talking about network topologies, uh, and some specifics, um, particularly um, Ethernet and token ring. Uh, we'll get into some aspects of uh, uh, Wi-Fi and wireless networking. Uh, possibly uh, some others there, but not because it is particularly important to know these, but um, uh, or the details of them, uh, but the fact uh, that this is probably going to remind us of uh, a few concepts in uh, terms of security in terms of security uh, factors and implications for um, different technologies. And so, uh, yeah, anyways, we'll, we'll uh, look at the, the details of, of some of these and, and hopefully that will remind you of security implications. Um, Ethernet. Uh, Ethernet's the, the big one, as I say, you know, uh, there is actually no physical layer in TCP IP, but everybody assumes there is. Everybody assumes that it's Ethernet. Uh, these days, of course, it probably isn't. Uh, it's, you know, uh, you probably get your uh, internet access. Uh, well, you get them from a telco directly, uh, maybe with a leased line, maybe uh, with a fiber optic cable, maybe, you know. Or maybe they just provide services and you don't even know how it comes into your building. And then uh, you're connecting to it uh, with your phone or laptop or uh, whatever. And it's probably uh, Wi-Fi. So, um, no, we're not going to find Ethernet uh, as much anymore. Uh, unless it was installed years ago. <coughs> and is still... Uh, the way that they operate because they've never changed it. Um, so, as I say, um, a bus topology uh, with uh, drops off the central cable, a maximum length for that central cable, um, which is actually dependent on the frequency of uh, the signal that you are sending down the cable. And so, uh, for some installations of ethernet it's going to be 1100 meters for some it's going to be 1500 meters um it's you know best not to push the limits uh so you know always take a conservative estimate uh when you're planning out uh, a network if you are planning out any ethernet networks the um uh cabling can be uh, the good old uh, thick net, the original Ethernet cabling that's about the size of a garden hose. Uh, basically, usually yellow cabling uh, with these black markings about, what, two, every two and a half meters? Something. Anyways, um, you'll see where they are on the cable. Uh, and that's the half wavelength uh, using the thick net technologies. And that is where you can tap into the cable. Um, so, uh, and then uh, the thin net, yeah, about a quarter of it's an inch, half a centimeter. Um, and then, of course, there is the possibility of twisted pair, either shielded or unshielded, and category five, and, you know, different options there. And again, different um, frequencies used in the different types of cable, and therefore different half wavelengths, different... Uh, maximum cabling lengths. Um, that is, uh, you know, it's, it's cheap, it's reliable, it's mature technology, and, and so on and so forth. But, as I say, you know, these days, pretty much everybody is using Wi-Fi. So, you know. Um, now, the thing is, we've got uh, uh, aspects of media access control. And the media access control on uh, 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 Ethernet is with the uh, 
machine. Um, yeah. What do you got? Serial number, whatever. Um, anyways, the Mac number. Um, and the uh, the Mac number, uh, of course, is not going to be used. You know, most of the actual networking that we do at the actual network layer, which we haven't gotten to yet, is going to be in uh, regard to uh, uh, TCP IP addresses. So we have to have uh, things like ARP to um, convert between uh, the uh, media access control, which incidentally is one of the at least three different expansions of the MAC acronym, and so that's why uh, the uh, CISSP questions don't use uh, acronyms anymore unless they spell them out fully. But um, uh, the, uh, as I say, uh, CSMACD as the uh, media access control protocol in this particular case. Um, the cocktail party protocol carrier sense everybody is listening um, uh, multiple access you know everybody's listening on the same segment uh, and uh, again when we get into um, a greater length than the the maximum cabling length uh, that we are allowed we want to um, get into things like gateways and routers and switches, and these days, of course, it's mostly switches. But we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, so, uh, anyways, carrier sense, multiple access, and collision detection, where uh, you keep listening for a while after you have started transmitting to see if all of a sudden somebody else is transmitting and obviously you both have to stop and try again later. So, uh, there, are, there are some of the implications of Ethernet um, in terms of security. Um, if you are on that network segment, you are on the network. Um, and we'll, we'll look at some, you know, things you can do, messing with ARP and, and other things like that, uh, to hijack the network, take over the network, um, whatever. Uh, we uh, have the, uh, you know, it, it's an open uh, protocol, doesn't have any encryption, so, you know, if, if you want, to ensure that uh, your material is protected, you're gonna have to add that at the higher layers. Uh, that's just, you know, that is an implication of, of what it is. So we'll look at some more of the topologies in future segments. <laughs>